One of the things you need to know as a surgeon is that you have to keep your feet on the ground. There's always room for improvement. If you get comfortable, then you lose the battle. Robotics has been a long journey. We went through phases where surgeons would think that either we're crazy or we didn't know how to do surgery. I have fun in the OR. That's where I love to be. I just truly enjoy being in the operating room. I love the camaraderie. For me, it's a very comfortable place. But I also remember that these patients are putting their lives in my hand. For tough cases, it's something that I carry with me for many days. And there are times where I just get home and I just, like, I have to check out because it's so emotionally draining. The power that we have as a surgeon to do what we can do for people that are beside you, you have to treat them as a human being. And this is the main reason why we decided to be a doctor. In the OR, you have the nurse, you have the physician and assistant, you have a lot of people that surround, you have the engineers that can come and, and solve some issues. And all of these people, they have to work and collaborate together. It's not about procedure by itself. When robotics started, not every OR was the size of a robot to be fitted in. Saying that, we still, the majority of the ORs in the world are not robotic capable. Otava is going to be a big part of this future of surgery. We are creating a product that is going to be in every hospital around the world. There's two ways we get impacted by surgery. One is mentally, and the other one is physically. The mentally part can be eased by the system you use. If I don't have to worry about how the system works and how to use it, it becomes like second nature, like when you drive a car after you've been driving for 10 years. If you think about the surgeon's day and you think about the staff's day, it's very stressful. And what I want to do is remove some of that burden with what we're designing and make it easier so that the equipment is not the focus. The focus is the patient. I think we come into a new era where all the information should be at your fingertips. There's no reason why not. This will benefit the patients big time, and I am a big advocate for access and technology. We continuously push the envelope when it comes to innovation. We're starting with a system that is capable and is reliable. However, there's more. There's always more to do. Well, it is a little bit emotion because J and J, uh, well, I start uh, laparoscopy in IDs, and they develop a lot of things to improve what we were doing that time, and a lot of device that facilitate our lives as a surgeon. The first energy advanced energy device, a harmonic scalpel, helps a lot for laparoscopy, and everything that they they did and their related how we could do better for our patients. From my experience uh, with J&J, &J, I think they have better products, they have the best ports, they have the best staplers, they have the best suture, and so I think they're a great match for developing this robotic platform. We're designing this system around not just the surgeon, not just the patient, but for the whole hospital, every aspect of it. We go through a very stringent process to make sure that every voice is heard from the surgeons to the patient, as well as the clinical staff, bedside assist, and the hospital themselves. Um, the way I see it now is this huge, huge mountain with many, many peaks. It'll take a very strong team of people who are driven and determined and care about the patients and care about the work that we do. And a lot of times when I talk to surgeons, they'll have a suggestion and then they'll say, is that possible? Absolutely, anything's possible. It's just a matter of how do we get there.